welcome back to that dad guy. It's March the 24th, 2023. People ask me, do you still have snow on the ground? Uh, yeah, we do. It snowed again last night and it looks like we're gonna get 10 to 15 centimeters of snow again on Sunday. So even though the calendar says it's spring, mother nature still believes it's winter here in this part of Canada. So uh, yeah, let's check the mailbox and see what we got this week. out of the cold and look what we've got this week i got a, a bunch of cards that came in i got 11 official post crossing cards that arrived this week and 14 friend mail or surprise mails that showed up uh, some that have been waiting on or even forgotten about for a long period of time that have shown up now normally i would start with the official post crossing cards but i'm going to uh leave those to last for a specific reason today all right, let me show you what I got from my friend mail first. So this one here comes from the town of Harbin in China. And uh, Ether sent this to me and uh, they reached out. He's 19. Uh, he's in China. He reached out in October and asked if we could do a swap. Uh, I said yes. And now here we are at the end of March and the card has finally arrived. And there are the stamps very cool stamps I knew it was gonna take a long time and uh, back in October the mail was still freely going to China from Canada it had been stopped for a while I'm not sure if it's resumed or not I did get an official post crossing address the other day for it and um, so I've sent it off so hopefully it does get there but it might take a little while all right the next one I have is this beautiful poppy card and this comes from Caroline in uh, Finland she said she was going back through some of my older videos and came across my Remembrance Day video that talked about why we wear the poppy and uh, the significance of the poppy for us uh, about first and second world war and uh, she said she enjoyed it so I was glad to be able to teach someone something about uh, history or the, the poppy or Remembrance Day and uh, so she said she wanted to send that to me so thank you so much Caroline for that and there's the beautiful finish stamp. Now the next one comes from Media in Finland as well. And uh, a lot of her cards she's been sending haven't been arriving. Well, today was the day. This one arrived. She sent this February 25th. Um, she's got an Allen stamp on it that matches the postcard. So in a way, I guess it's a maxi card. And uh, yeah, that's one. Now the next one from Media arrived today and it was sent on March 11th. She was in Estonia at the time. There's the Estonian stamp. Well, she was in Tallinn. And then a third one arrived today. So this one was sent on March 16th. So it's funny that uh, one on the 25th of February and March 16th both arrived the exact same day. This is a Finnish one. She found this at uh, Market Hall. And uh, she was going to see Cristal, which is a Cirque du Soleil performance. Uh, proud of Cirque du Soleil because they're from Montreal here in Canada. Uh, I know they travel the world and their companies are everywhere. They even have a standing show in Las Vegas now. But uh, when I hear Cirque du Soleil, I think Canadian. And there is the, not stamp, but it's an official uh, stamp that goes on there that you can say. So it's a prepaid. Isn't that a nice spring scene there? Or maybe an Easter scene with the eggs in the basket. So thank you, Media, for all the cards. Three of them in one day sent over a period of three weeks. So eventually they catch up. We just have to use or have to have patience. And speaking of that, here comes from my friend Lewis in Dubai. He sent this uh, nice Star Wars card. And on the back, we've got Star Wars stickers and beautiful stamps and Mandalorian stickers. It was 25 degrees when he sent that. So very cool. And then another one from Lewis. This is a nice grasshopper, or maybe it's a praying mantis, but it's St. Patrick's theme. It's green and everything on the back is green. Nice stamp, lots of different things. Even a green hedgehog. I don't know where you find all these stickers, but you do a great job with your uh, washi tape and your stickers. Uh, 
It was funny on the back you said uh, there's only one green thing not allowed in the United Arab Emirates that is allowed in Canada. Um, you may know you may know what that is. All right, the last card also from Lewis. So like Media, three cards from Lewis all arrived this week. Uh, his were all dated differently too. He said uh, you may or may not want to show this card. I thought it was funny, and I'm a peculiar kind of person anyway. It says just between you and me. I slipped uppers into the punch bowl. All right, I'm not advocating drugs, uh, so don't get me wrong on that that front. Uh, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> it, it, the, the scene kind of looks like a, a 50s house mom, and uh, in the 50s and 60s, they had key parties. They had all sorts of different things going on, and uh, typical, you heard about, you know, doing punches or fruit salads or... You know, jello molds, all those things used to be at it. So it makes me think of a bunch of different things. Here is the massive stamp um, with the collector sheet all the way around it. I don't know what's better. You know, as a stamp collector, this is better. But as a postcard person liking the unusual, this one's better. Thank you, Lewis. I appreciate it. I pre appreciate the effort. I'm glad they finally arrived. And, uh, like Media from Finland. Um, patience, they'll get here eventually. I know they will. All right, my next card comes from Lila in the US, down in Maryland. And this is a special one too. Um, she sent this on January 25th and it just arrived now. Originally, I thought this line was part of the postcard, but it is where the uh, US postal system has put a barcode and it was sent somewhere. And then someone came along with a marker and crossed it all off because it went somewhere and then went somewhere else before it got to me. But she says, autism has touched my family and when I saw these postcards, I knew I had to get them right away. I love the uniqueness and the creativity. My fingers are crossed hoping he designs more postcards. So these are love notes from Martson. Martson is a young man with autism. Making art brings some great happiness. Please enjoy his creation made with crayons. So he did a fabulous job on this and I am glad that uh, Lila got this and sent this to me. It means a lot. I bought a piece of art last year when I was in St. Martin's for my son. He likes moose and I found a really cool moose uh, painting or print and it was done from a lady who or a young woman who has autism in Nova Scotia and she was putting out these prints. And I thought this is perfect. So yeah, keep up the good work people. Keep the art alive. All right, this next card comes from Nicole in Ohio, Plastic Man. Um, I saw a video recently, Jilly B living her life her way. Uh, she bought a bunch of DC postcards and one of them was a cover from Plastic Man. I didn't know who Plastic Man was, so to see that video and also to get this card from Nicole was a great coincidence. Um, yeah, it looks really funny. This looks like, uh, I can't remember his name, he's from Popeye. Uh, Blimpy? Blimpy, yeah, I think that's who uh, the burger joint's made up. That's who that this reminds me of. So thank you, Nicole. On the back, look at the stamps. We've got some Batman stamps to go with the theme, the DC theme. And talks a little bit about Plastic Man number four. The cartoonist was Jack Cole. He flexed his creative muscles with the always pliable, ever reliable Plastic Man. Who debuted in August 1941, Cole enjoyed a 15-year stretch experimenting with fun, unique stories, twists, and graphics for his expendable protagonist and stout sidekick, Woozy Winks. So, it's not Blimpy, it's Woozy Winks. Thank you, Nicole. Always learning something new. All right, this next card you may have to squint at a little bit. This comes from Bob, and he's in Ontario. Uh, he thought he would send me a postcard. It had been a little while. And uh, this is Young and Dundas Square in downtown. But it's part of uh, abstract created layer images from Instagram, actually. There's the new floral stamp that Kanda put out. It's upside down. Hopefully he's not in distress. Usually if you put a flag upside down or a, a stamp upside down, it has a meaning. So... Hopefully everything's okay, Bob. Very cool, thank you. This next one, when I first got it, I saw it quick. London, okay, I got a card from England and I looked on the back and the stamp was Canadian and it confused me. So I looked at the card again, it says London, Ontario, Canada. So it's our London here in Canada. And um, 
This comes from Terry. Terry has a YouTube channel too. Uh, snail Mail. It's not Snail Mail with Smokey, but it's uh, Today's Snail Mail. That's by Terry. So uh, you can go check out her YouTube channel if you like and uh, see what she does. She does a whole bunch of stamps th uh, stamp things or philately things. And she's saying she's enjoying the new monthly question that I've put out. So that's my Saturday question. So I do that dad guy answers. Um, I did one for February, question number one. Uh, question number two for March is out there now and uh, it's coming up quickly. The first Saturday of the month, I show all the postcards with all the questions, answers on them. Um, so yeah, that's coming up quick. Not, not tomorrow, but the following weekend will be April the 1st. All right. This next card comes from Kathy, also in Ontario, uh, but she was recently on a trip to Washington, D.C., so she picked up this postcard of the National Mall and Memorial Parks. He says, at 555 feet and 5.5 uh, 5 eighths of an inch tall, the Washington Monument... That can't be right. Five, at 500... Okay. <laughs> 555 feet plus 5 and 8 inches tall, the Washington Monument is the tallest freestanding stone structure in the world. Dedicated on February 21st, 1885, this monument stands in tribute to our... Well, to the United States, first president and father of the country, George Washington. And there is the Canadian stamp that's on it, Mount Tremblant. So thank you, Kathy, for that, for thinking of me when you were uh, off on your trip and seeing all the fantastic museums and the weather, I guess, was great for you, which is wonderful. All right, this next envelope comes from Kyler in Prince Edward Island. First, let's focus on the stamp that's there. And you just put the outlying corner from that sheet of stamps on it as well. So 150 years of photography. We're black and white there. And then inside the envelope, he has put the home of the lobster dinners. This vintage card. Um, lobster is very prevalent here in the Maritimes. Um, Shediac, which is only 20 minutes from Moncton, is the lobster capital of the world. But... Prince Edward Island also hosts lots of lobster dinners and in this church here uh, this is one of the first places that they did the lobster dinners so he writes a little bit about that on the back he also talked about um, designing postcards I had done up a whole bunch of that dad guy postcards like this shirt uh, early on and I found them very flimsy I went in and had a few more postcards designed for World Post uh, Post Crossing Day or Postcard Day, and uh, got them a little thicker, but not still not as much as I wanted. So he found a place online that did it, and he had a few postcards made up, and he thought he would send me his finished products. So you can see the postcards are a lot thicker. Uh, nothing else on the back. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's one of the images that he printed for. So. I'm sure I've got people that would be interested in some of these postcards. You know, it's just people hanging out, doing normal things. We've got cowboys, we've got people hanging out at the beach. Uh, there's a fisherman. Uh, you've got someone that's protecting himself from the rain. Standard things that you're going to see people do um, in different locations. So thank you, Kyler, for making me smile. Thank you also for the information uh, that you have about uh, these postcards so it looks like it might be a good option uh, to print out some postcards and of course the more you print uh, probably the better the deal you're going to get on how much they're going to cost all right thank you for that uh, this next envelope comes from Hans in Germany and uh, it has a bunch of stamps in there uh, so I'm going to save that for another video you'll have to tune in next week to see that so before I move on to the official postcards that showed up, I want to um, say thanks for getting me to 700 subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe, like, leave a comment, uh, just interact generally. It's kind of nice to get to know the community. And uh, I think it, it makes for a better community too. When you get to know people, you get a card, uh, you get stamps, whatever we happen to be doing and trading back and forth. It's a lot of fun. So uh Make sure you're part of the community by subscribing, liking, and commenting. All right, let's get to those official postcards. This one here of a nice Russian mailbox and bicycle. 
Uh, beautiful postcards. This comes from Maria, and she lives very close to Moscow. <coughs> Excuse me. She loves puzzles and walks in the autumn. Um, my father's a big puzzle person too. Uh, every year at Christmas time, we used to uh, make a puzzle together, or as a family. <coughs> but one of the great things is that uh, he's now continuing to do puzzles in the nursing home, and it really helps his memory a lot. Um, it's keeping him active, and uh, so very good about that. Uh, my brother Eric recently sent him a uh, Chelsea puzzle. Chelsea's his favorite uh, football team in England in the Premiership. And uh, it was a wooden puzzle, and 500 pieces, and so he's having a lot of fun putting that together at, as we speak, probably. So there we go, Maria. And there are the stamps. We have the one of the more common ones, but one of the most one of the beautiful ones as well on there too. The pictorial stamps. So thank you, Maria, for that. And she says, "I hope you like my postcard, and everyone will see it on your channel. They will now." And I really do like this. I love uh, mailbox postcards. Uh, the next one is also from Russia, and this one is a hedgehog postcard, or a hedgehog making a hedge snowman. Uh, this person comes from Western Siberia, where the two mighty Siberian rivers, <coughs> excuse me, meet, <coughs> pardon me, I'm hacking up a storm here. I could stop it, but I'm not. And we all cough from time to time. And I'm speaking quickly. I don't know why I'm speaking so quickly, but I am. Maybe I'm just excited. Uh, but uh, this comes from Ludmilla. Uh, she has two sons and a Jack Russell Terrier. She loves spending time with her family, walking, watching movies. She says, good luck to everyone. And look at the stamps. I really like this stamp here. They're all nice, but I like this one here with the greenery. So thank you. And Siberia, that's cool. I just was watching the uh, Netflix TV series called The Last Czars recently, and uh, it talks about Rasputin. Everyone may be familiar with that name, the priest that had the most influential uh, or influence on uh, Tsar Nicholas and his wife. Uh, he was from Siberia, and I didn't know that originally. All right, so thank you. A little side note, and here we are. Here's another card. This one also coming from Russia. This is the uh, uh, Karasan Palace in Crimea, Crimea, which currently I think is part of Russia, was part of Ukraine before that. I think it's one of those territories or regions that uh, has gone back and forth a little bit. I think currently it's part of Russia. This comes from Irina and she lives in St. Petersburg. Uh, she likes to visit interesting cafes for breakfast on the weekends. That sounds delicious. Anytime you can go to see a, a new place, a new restaurant, try some food, um, I think it's a, a good opportunity to do so. There's the stamp she's got. One day, I'm going to get a chance to visit St. Petersburg. It's on my list of places that I would love to see. Uh, my friend Yulia lives there now, and uh, whenever I get uh, messages from Yulia, it's, uh, she sent me pictures and stuff. And the, the architecture in St. Petersburg looks amazing. So one day, we'll get there. All right, my next card comes from Germany, and it comes from Wacken, Wacken, Germany. And this is a giant rock festival that they have every year. It's been going on uh, since the 19, since 1990. Uh, huge heavy metal festival. I'll get a little closer so you can see some of the images. You got someone in a three CPO mask there. It looks very interesting. She says she lives in northern Germany. Well, that's where this town is with her husband, her two kids, and she's very near Hamburg. So thank you, Marina, for this card. And there is the German stamp. You can see it was cancelled, but it was also pen cancelled. So uh, they did it twice, unfortunately. All right. My next card comes from Belarus. That's a blue cat card. You can see all the fishies looking on as the cats are kissing. Uh, she said, I hope you will like this postcard. So many people like blue cats, or blue cat cards. I'm glad that I live where the artist was born. Did you know that the artist for blue cats was born in Belarus? I did not know that. So it's nice to learn a few new things. Um, 
along the way. And I want to show you the Belarusian stamps there too. Very nice. The next one comes from France. We have a hedgehog postcard. And uh, a hedgehog in French is a heady song. H E R I S S O N. I didn't know that a heady song was the French for hedgehog. And uh, she talks about all the different things she enjoys doing on the back. Uh, it's all written in French. Um, she loves superheroes and uh, history and science and uh, traditional medicine and lectures and all sorts of different things she enjoys to watch and do. There is the bunny rabbit stamp for the year of the rabbit, probably is what that is. Yeah, année du lapin, year of the rabbit, French stamp. So thank you so much. And uh, this is Didier, that's who it's from. So thank you so much. Now the next card comes from Finland. And we have another mailbox card. Uh, these two are, uh, looks like they're putting birdseed out around the uh, mailbox too. It's probably not birdseed, it's probably sand. They're uh, putting it over the ice to help the mailman get to the mailboxes without slipping and falling. So thank you for uh, keeping those mailboxes safe. Now, there's some in uh, information on this card too, which was uh, new that I didn't know. She says, greeting from the Finnish Lakeland uh, in the small town. She's chosen this postcard for you because of the mailboxes, so thank you for that. And she said she was, uh, the person that made this postcard was at their meetup in 2019. So that's cool. They had a illustrator come to their meetup and the stamp on it shows innovations from 2019. And the innovation is this. You see this key right here? This is a um, Abloy lock key. These are the same keys we use in our community mailboxes at Canada Post. So I didn't know that that was a Finnish invention, those Abloy locks. And they were created in 1907. So they've been around a long time. So thank you for that bit of history and uh, learning a bit more about Finland and uh, some of the things that you guys have created. All right, here we go. Here's another card, also from Finland. This comes from Sari, and she's been postcrossing since 2018. Always loved collecting and uh, sending postcards. This one of the illustrator by Rudolf Koivu. Have you guys heard of Rudolf Koivu? Who's, she's one of the most famous Finnish illustrators. He is one of the most famous illustrators. He's most known for his books for children, and the text below is in Finnish, says pretty much the same thing. So I can't read Finnish, so I'm glad that she wrote it out to let me know who this was from. So Rudolf Koivu. The only other Koivu I know is Saku Koivu, who played for the Montreal Canadiens in hockey. Um, and that's what we used to call my daughter before she was born, when she was still in the belly. Uh, we used to call her Baby Saku. All right. This next card is a little bit more local. This Sullivan Pond in downtown Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. This is a, a very short distance. It only took two days to get here. Dartmouth is on the other side of the water from Halifax. And I'm going to show you the hand cancelled postage stamp of the East Coast here. And this little sticker is the Dartmouth Ferry that you would take going back and forth between Halifax and Dartmouth. Uh, we go down there quite often. And the uh, has lots of different shops and things here. Uh, I happen to be the very first Canadian post crosser that she got an address for, so I'm happy to have that distinction that uh, her postcard has come to me first of all the address she, addresses she could have pulled in Canada. It was mine, so thank you so much. She says, uh, in Dartmouth, where we love our geese, you can have some of ours. We've got lots of geese here too if you ever run out. So thank you, Marilyn, for that card. And uh, hopefully we get to trade more. Reach out, let me know if you do want to. All right, this next card, or cards, uh, two cards were sent with the exact same um, post-crossing address on it. And they come from the Cayman Islands. This comes from Francis. He said, I'd rather go to hell than to work. Hell, Grand Cayman Islands, that is. 
this is a picture of the queen or a stamp of the queen for her 90th birthday i don't have any cayman island stamps i don't believe so that's great to have that so he sent that one and then he sent this one which i think is really interesting it looks like a collage of uh two different images overlapped on each other gives an interesting effect and what he rates on this one here is says, what an awesome channel. So he's talking about uh, my YouTube channel. He's checked it out. And uh, he said he's a musician on a cruise ship, the Norwegian Prima. And you, there's a place where you can go and check out where the, the ship is in the world. Um, he said he got this card in Budapest where he used to live teaching English abroad. He visited for a vacation between slip contracts. Uh, if you see it says if you want to share any of my music you hear what's been playing throughout this video and that's why I left it to last his name is Francis Larson you can look him up on YouTube or on Spotify his music's there um, I've been checking it out it's got a good beat there's some uh, songs on there too that sound like they're probably could have been written here in the, the Maritimes as well put a little fiddle in the background with some of that guitar playing he's got going and uh the tune and stuff sounds like it could be celtic so it would fit in nicely here um, but yeah he's got uh, songs called uh, bandit of no delight or elsewhere those are his two most popular in 2020 he put out his own album uh, the, before that he put out three uh, singles or demos so if you're interested if you like the music that's been playing throughout this video he's also given me permission to put it in the video i'm going to put uh his name and description in the link or in the just the body of the description of this video so you can go check out francis larson if you like his music um give him a shout out go uh go check it out download his songs um listen sounds like he's doing great um when he gets off the cruise ships maybe he'll send some more cards maybe we'll get a chance to talk back and forth if you're watching uh francis reach out to me leave a comment um yeah i love this it's, it's a cool way that we can uh, cross over our, our different mediums as well here uh, I, I meet lots of different people through YouTube and it's been a great experience and uh, I've met uh, people that write children's books from Scotland uh, I've met uh, musicians I've met other youtubers I've met uh, other mailmen uh, postal carriers uh, it's really cool to be able to uh, to have this access and to have uh, friendly people reach out and say hello so uh, if you're one of those strangers out there that wants to say hello, leave a comment and uh, we'll touch base. All right, that's what I've got this week. It's been a fantastic week of mail and uh, with all the official ones that finally showed up this week too, to, to get 10 of those um, makes my day and all my uh, other friends that have sent cards in. I'm going to have a lot of work to do this weekend. I've got uh, mail to write. So tune in tomorrow for That Dad Guy Answers. Uh, you still, if you watch the video today, Go ahead and leave me a question. I'll answer it tomorrow for you. I'll leave it on the last uh, That Dad Guy Answers videos from last Saturday. And we've got about one week left. So if you've got cards to answer for question number two, go and uh, send those in so they can get here in time. Uh, I think I've all caught up with my question number one cards. So starting tomorrow, uh, I'll just be answering regular questions from you guys. And then uh, next week, I'm going to start showing you the postcards I got for question number two. All right, have a great uh, weekend and have a magical week. Like, follow, you say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?